What did Paul mean when he says, so we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. I always read this verse and I was so confused. So I decided why not make a video about this and I really hope guys that this is encouraging and brings a lot of clarity. I always read this verse and I was like, is Paul saying that there's some unseen spiritual realm, you know, like all around us and those unseen things in the spiritual realm are eternal, but like the things we see with our eyes, like trees and grass and like all that is just temporary. And then I was like, wait, so like, do I need to like somehow see in this spiritual realm? And, and you know, it's just like so mystical and so confusing. But then one day it hit me what Paul is really saying and it's actually really simple. If you look at the verse right before that, Paul explains exactly what those things are that are seen versus unseen. He says, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Did you notice how we said the troubles are light and momentary, but the glory is eternal? That sounds a lot like the verse we just read where it says, what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So it's the momentary troubles that are seen and it's the eternal glory that is unseen. But why does he describe them as being seen versus unseen? And I think the answer comes down to, he's talking in the sense of timing. The things that are here now, he goes, are seen, while the things that are still in the future are unseen. And so right now he goes, we are experiencing these light and momentary troubles. And because we are experiencing them right now, those are the things that are seen. But there's coming a time where we will no longer experience those troubles because they are temporary. Yeah, instead of experiencing those, there's coming a time where we are going to experience eternal glory. And because that glory is still in the future, he goes, it is unseen. We don't see it yet. So seen versus unseen doesn't mean some weird spiritual realm versus a natural realm. No, it's just that these light and momentary troubles that we currently see are temporary, while the eternal glory that's still in the future is unseen because it's in the future. And there's actually two other passages where it uses the exact same phrasing to talk about things now versus things in the future. And so like Hebrews 11, 1, which we're all really familiar with, right? It says, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So we don't see it because we're hoping for it. It's still in the future. And then in Romans 8, Paul goes, for in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen, right? Hope that is currently here, that's no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, right? It's unseen, we wait for it patiently. So what is it that we don't see that's unseen? It's the things that we are hoping for, the things still in the future, because we literally don't see them yet. <laughs> ha, I bet you didn't see me. That's because I wasn't here yet, just like our hope. So as disciples of Jesus, we can actually be very encouraged and motivated by what Paul is saying here in 2 Corinthians. He's just saying, we need to fix our eyes on the hope of the gospel. We need to fix our eyes on the glory that's coming. In this age, guys, we will experience troubles, especially if you're a follower of Jesus who's radically serving him and proclaiming the gospel. We are going to experience troubles. That's how it is in this age. But we're not fixing our eyes on this age, right? We're fixing our eyes on the age to come because the age to come and the glory that's coming, that's eternal. Why would we fix our eyes on something that's temporary? But guys, there is going to be a day on the day of the Lord. Jesus will return. He will raise the dead. That means resurrected bodies. He's going to punish the wicked, reward the righteous, set up his glorious kingdom on the earth, and he's going to restore the heavens and the earth back to the former glory, right? Brand new heavens, brand new earth. And we're going to live with him forever in that glory. So let's fix our eyes on the hope of the gospel. Let's fix our eyes on that hope that's still unseen, but it's coming. Speaking of hope, I hope this was encouraging to you guys. And I am hoping to come out with another video for a day is coming series. And the next video I want to do is about the new heavens and the new earth that will be completely restored. So we're going to talk about how the day of the Lord will be a day of restoration. So guys, God bless you. Let's keep running this race towards the return of Jesus and let's keep bearing much fruit for Jesus. Travel on.
Travel on. Travel on.